On November 1, 1954, Mrs. Rosa Lotti Denelli, 40 years old, was going to the cemetery at Poggio d'Ambra Buccine near Arezzo, Italy. A devout Italian woman, she was carrying a pot containing flowers. As she walked past an open grassy space, she saw a vertical torpedo-shaped machine with pointed edges. The craft looked metallic. It did not resemble anything the witness had seen before. From behind the object, two beings appeared. They were three and a half to four feet tall. They looked joyful. Their smiles displayed white and very thin teeth. They were wearing gray coveralls and reddish leather helmets, similar to those used by military drivers. They had what seemed to be a convexity at the center of their foreheads. Speaking an incomprehensible language, the two closed in on the woman, and one of them took away from her the pot containing the flowers. Mrs. Lotti Dainelli now tried to get her property back, but the two beings ignored her and returned to their craft. A story like this would be amazing and nothing more if it were not for one fact known to students of folklore. A constant feature of one class of legends involving supernatural creatures is that the beings come to our world to steal our products, our animals, and even human beings. Have you read any of that Jacques Vallée guy? Have you read that, like, Passport to Magonia <laughs> and stuff I have. Like that? I mean, no, I've not read it. I've looked through it. I have it on my iPad. You know what I mean? Because well, he has all that, like, fairies and aliens and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Also, yeah. John Keel also was yeah. sort of in that direction. Yeah. All that stuff is... Who I, who I really like. I love that book, Mothman. You tell me to read that. Such a great book. But again, it's all that stuff where it's kind of all the same thing and it's yeah, all, like, yeah. and like fairies and all that stuff all yeah the, but except the little people are actually real where it's that other stuff is bullshit so yeah i suppose we met that woman in ireland remember fairy i was thinking about her because she said she saw fairies right exactly i know i feel i vaguely remember her talking about it there's supposedly since then, like the last year, I saw some article about a new disease they've discovered. I think they even call it Lilipushi. I don't know, Lilipushi on or something. And it's a, a disease where you see little people dressed in medieval clothing. What? It's a, <laughs> it's there's an actual. Serious. Yeah. There's yeah. a condition where that's what happens? Yeah. And that's so what, maybe uh, she had that, you know? Because she really claimed to see this fairy, like, down the tennis court. And she I vaguely her. remember her said, like, it, yeah, I vaguely remember her talking about that. But didn't she have, like, didn't she end up having, like, dementia or something? That doesn't affect this law case. No, no, I'm just, wondering, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. Yeah, no, but my, listen, I'm like. And years later, she did have a, a Alzheimer's. No, because the thing to me is, I, I mean, the obvious thing that that is just like, well, maybe that's like, it's not a disease. Maybe they've actually like managed to actually see the things that nobody, <laughs> nobody said. Maybe it's not a disease. a disease. Man. Yeah, maybe it's like, yeah, maybe it's like exactly. they've just, they're now managing to see what we can't see. But that's so bizarre that you would see like little men in medieval costumes. Like, <laughs> why, why medieval? <laughs> That's, that's really that's like DMT or something. Yeah, but why spend? Well, it's like the fucking um, uh, isolation tank. Because the weirdest thing in the isolation tank with me was all the time, all the fucking time, I would see. Wait, slow down. You have to like you go into. You used to go into. I used to go into. Tank. I want to start doing it again. I used to go into a uh, sensory deprivation tank. You know, it's a flotation tank, and and. You float in it, it's, you, you, all your senses are cut off, you can't feel anything, and so your brain does all kinds of, all these brain chemicals and stuff, so you get weird light effects, and, and they say it's the same effects as a lot of DMT and ayahuasca, and probably not in, anywhere near as intense as those things, but it's the same. Yeah. And they say, and they say it's the, because DMT is the near death drug, right? The one where you get the weird light effects that are like you hear about, like when you're dying and stuff like that, and like the Tibet, yeah. the dead, you see all the weird lights and stuff like that. Yeah, that's probably DMT. And you that do, might be like the yeah. first stage of it. I think. And you see it in um, this uh, tank too. But when I would go in there, wow. constantly I would see patterns of Celtic crosses 
and I would on all this like Arthurian shit would come up and like the, like green men and like the green knights and like medieval shit would come up like all that time. reminds me of Valis so much after he had encountered God horse lover fat developed a love for him which was not normal it is not what is usually meant in saying that someone loves God and with fat it was an actual hunger and stranger still, he explained to us that God had injured him, and he still yearned for him, like a drunk yearns for booze. God, he told us, had fired a beam of pink light directly at him, at his head, his eyes. The fat had been temporarily blinded, and his head had ached for days. It was easy, he said, to describe the beam of pink light. It's exactly what you get as a phosphine afterimage when a flashbulb has gone off in your face. Yeah, well, that's like Roman, isn't it? Or is it like medieval? Yeah, but they're just that way. He just, see, no, he sees when the beam hits his head, he sees like every kind of art form, like right. shit, abstract yeah. expressionism. He sees like well, that's true. things that we haven't thought of yet. That's what happens in there because some of the stuff is very like, you also yeah. see stuff that looks like completely crazy ass, like abstract shit like that too. Yeah. But the weird wow. thing was the consistent thing often with me of like the medieval shit and the like kind of like oh, yeah. weird, like really weird. Like why? I like I the whole thing about like why? the holy grail. I had this crazy like really? so crazy. Super crazy. And a whole thing about the green knight in there and like you know, a whole like green wow. man thing, like the kind of medieval Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and like and um crazy shit like that. And I was always like, why am I seeing this stuff? And I, like Holy Grail stuff and everything. It was just like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. And Maybe I went, you're on a great quest. I, I, I don't know. And sometimes I would think like, is that like, because of like my father and stuff like that. And like, is my head just full of that shit? And like, it's getting released because of like, you know what I mean? Like my dad yeah. like, studied all that shit. And okay. so, so I'm like, is that what it is? And would like somebody else who like spent their lives like watching like NASCAR or something like is that what would come up? Or is it is that what it is? Or or is it like hitting some weird like Or would stuff? everyone see Celtic Cross? Yeah, like would everybody or, see yeah. like but yeah. it's insane to me that people see people in medieval, specifically medieval clothing. <laughs> it's so funny. Like what the fuck? I think so, yeah. yeah. And um I mean even even Gulliver's Travels, I think they're like medieval dress. <laughs> but I I guess like this Jacques Vallée guy would be like, well, back in you know, the eighteenth century if someone saw some weird creature, they would think their shiny suit looked like some kind of fairy suit. You know, like the yeah. interpretation of it would be different. So maybe they I don't know. I'm 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 a little <laughs> bit over Jacques Vallée. Oh. I'm trying to, I'm no longer, I mean, the whole UFO thing, that's but. Well, it's gotten really weird. Yeah. It's like, I don't yeah. know, I can't tell what's going on anymore. It's gotten Pretty super easy. weird. Yeah, who the hell knows what's going on? But it's weird because then, like, the director of national intelligence, like, was she get, I mean, she said, like, a few months ago, and now that's just gone. Now we're just going to pretend that that just never happened, I guess. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Did you listen to the Mel Bragg, the uh, Atlantis one? Oh, no, really? Yeah. I forgot about it. Which actually. reminded me, because I'd kind of forgotten this one woman was talking about it, and I'd forgotten that Atlantis is actually, like, in the story told in, in the whichever dialogue that is, Atlantis is the bad guys, kind of. They're like, and they're... And they're oh, really? Kind of, I forgot that. And, and like... And they, oh yeah, they were punished. Yeah, and it's really? like in contrast to Athens, like like ancient classical Athens is like what was so great. But I forgot that that it wasn't being set up as like the ideal state; it was the failed state. I was like, oh, that's true. I didn't. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. those flying saucers. That's not such a failure. Is it? I had been at work 
but a few moments when I heard small voices near me, and presently the little ones, as I soon found they called themselves, came creeping up from among the tiny trees that, like brushwood, filled the spaces between the big ones. In a minute there were scores and scores about me. I made signs that the giants had but just left me, and were not far off, but they laughed, and laughed like a multitude of sheep bells. They made me sit down and fed me with delicious little fruits, after which the smaller of them began to play with me in the wildest fashion, so that it was impossible for me to resume my work. When the first grew tired, others took their places, and this went on until the sun was setting and heavy steps were heard approaching. The little people started from me. 